The space program of Kenya has been largely shaped by Kenya's equatorial latitude, and has basis of existed foreign infrastructure and experience. The development of the program started in May 2012. History The first satellite launched from Kenya's soil was in 1970. The satellite, named Uhuru, was equipped to study celestial X-ray astronomy. Kenya was involved in the launching of the San Marco Malindi satellite. Discussions for a space center began in 1983, but stalled. Space Center development Estimated costs for the Space Center are shish 10 billion. The main goal of the Space Agency is to develop Earth observation satellites that can be used to monitor things from the weather to ongoing violence. The Space Center project is being driven by Dr. John Kamani, the lead scientist at the Ministry of Defense. Topic: <laughs> Conditions. As one of only a handful of equatorial states and because it is bordered to the east by the Indian Ocean, Kenya is ideally sited for a spaceport to efficiently launch satellites into geostationary and other orbits. The closest regional facility and the only one ever active in East Africa is the Italian-owned Broglio Space Center, also known as San Marco, near the Kenyan coast. In 1962 the agreements between Italy and Kenya and between University of Rome La Sapienza and Royal Technical College now University of Nairobi were signed and prolonged later for using of Kenyan territorial waters and building of base camp for two main sea platforms of spaceport on Kenyan territory near Ngomeni and Ungana Bay. Later for servicing of San Marco spaceport among other needs, a tracking station in the nearest Kenyan city of Malindi was created and still operates by Italy and ESA. After end of operation of San Marco, Broglio Space Center by Italians, the Kenyan government attempted to found a mostly commercial national space program based on retake of this spaceport and use of Malindi Station but the idea caused caused economic and diplomatic troubles between Kenya and Italy and the idea was discarded. <laughs> <laughs> Developments In building a launchpad for modern rockets to be able to launch satellites into geostationary orbit, Kenya intends to involve other partners such as the Ukraine that already produce launch vehicles for sea platform sea launch spaceports. The Kenyan government offered Ukraine the right to develop the spaceport for launch of its own rockets and the facilities for assembly of satellites. The collaboration with Sapienza University of Rome has allowed to produce 1 KUNSPF, the first Kenyan nano satellite, consisting in a 1 U CubeSat developed both by the University of Nairobi the X -Royal Technical College and the S5 lab research team of the Italian University. The satellite was launched in on 2 April 2018 by the International Space Station. In fiction In Andy Weir's novel Artemis Kenya achieves dominance in the space launch industry due to its fuel-saving location on the equator and political changes made by the government in the book. See also Ugandan Space Initiatives <laughs>